Hey there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and review for the Sandus Dual USB drive. And the unique thing about this drive is that it has a built-in USB OTG support. So this is the packaging and before I open this up and show it to you, let's see what's written. I have the 16 gig model. We also get this drive in 32 and 64 gigs. And it says that it's uh, compatible with uh, many uh, Android devices. You got to make sure your Android device supports USB OTG. And it actually has two ports. One is a standard USB port so that you can directly connect it to your computer. And other is the micro USB port, which is found on most Android devices. So if your Android smartphone or tablet does support USB OTG, you can connect it. And here are some more specs. And uh, it also gives us this link. I'll have that on the screen which is sandus.com slash dual drive and you can go to this uh, page and see if your Android device supports USB OTG. Many of the high-end Android phones do support and regarding the pricing, uh, this is the 16 GB model that we have and the price quoted here is rupees 1132 but I did purchase this one from Flipkart for just 599 rupees. I'll have the link for Flipkart in the show notes. So, and it also says that it's compatible with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Mac OS X regarding the computer part. Again, do note that this is a USB 2 drive, not a USB 3 drive. So let me just open this up and let me show you the drive itself. Drive itself, and as you can see, it's pretty tiny, actually very small compared to even normal USB thumb drives, very small. Indeed, I have this uh, HyperX thumb drive and as you can see, it's pretty small. And uh, we actually have two things. Let me just show you that now. Uh, one end, we can open this up. And we just need to slide this like this. And this opens the USB 2 port using which you can connect it to your computer. And, and if you just hit this and go this way, this is the micro USB uh, port using which you can directly connect it to your Android phone if it supports USB OTG. And you just slide this like this and this pushes. So pretty convenient. We have these covers like this and we can secure it like this. So it's a pretty tiny uh, device. So let me now connect it to the computer, transfer some files, do some speed tests and see how fast is this drive. And later on, we'll test it with an Android device regarding the USB OTG support the drive is pre-formatted into fat32 format and i did some tests and i could copy a 1 gb file in around 1 minute 58 seconds or so so the write speeds were not that impressive and i did some benchmarking so here are the results and in terms of uh, write speeds i was getting around 6.5 to 7 meg and read were around 16 to 17 megabytes so these are not bad but i expected slightly better results so you can copy around uh, one GB of file in around two minutes or so. Now let's uh, just connect this to our uh, Android device. This is HTC One M8, which has USB OTG support. And uh, I'll just connect it via this micro USB. And the thing is, we, I'll unlock my device and I just insert it, and it should be connected in a few seconds. And it says preparing USB storage, and it is connected. Now we can access the files that I have copied from my computer that are on this drive directly on our smartphone and for that I'll use ES File Explorer and uh, as you can see this is my USB storage that is R16 GB it detected that and these are all the files on the USB storage so let's uh, play back a few of them for example let's play back this file. Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Nexus 5 and the Moodle X and we And as you can see it plays it without any issues. This is a very high bitrate 1080p video. Uh, we'll try one more. Let's try this one. And again as you can see no issues playing back 1080p content or something like that directly from this drive. So you can use this uh, for playing back uh, movies etc. And as you can see, again, this is again a 1080p file, so no issues. Uh, so it works perfectly fine as a USB OTG drive. Uh, again, you do get USB OTG cables like this. I was earlier using something like this and you can attach a normal pen drive to these USB OTG cables, but it's a very clunky solution. I would say this is more 
of a very elegant solution. Now let me also try it on one more device. So let me take this out and uh, I'll use this Nexus 5. The Nexus 5 has USB uh, OTG support, but the thing is that by default, it does not mount the files. So you have to use a third party app called Nexus Media Manager. And I have that installed and you'll see that it automatically fires up and detects our drive and here are the contents of the drive from example I selected the videos for example I don't have any photos so these are the videos and we'll play back these files now again let's try this one Hi there, this is Ranjit and, I have this and uh, this will also work on the Moto X again you have to use this Nexus Media Importer also do remember that this uh, Nexus Media Importer is not needed by many third party uh, devices. So just check up with your Android phone manufacturer if USB OTG functionality is provided out of the box. So it even works with Nexus 5 and the Moto X. So this is the uh, SanDisk uh, Duo Drive and I would say it's an interesting solution if you do carry a lot of media on the go and I would say uh, it does not bring any uh, revolutionary features but personally i feel it does provide a lot of convenience if you do use the usb otg functionality a lot the only con i see is the write speeds could have been a lot better so if you copy a lot of data it might take some time but overall i would say considering the price to performance ratio and the compact form factor i give this product a thumbs up also don't forget to check out some of my other videos and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.